We're all set here with uh, Marquise. Just a reminder to keep yourselves on mute and uh, let me know via chat if you have a question. Bob, you want to start it off? Sure. Hey, Marquise, how you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing? Good. Um, hey, just uh, obviously, we Pete has talked about using you more in the slot, playing nickel back this year. How much how much experience do you have playing at that spot in your in your career? Um, none. Only play safety. How do you like it so far? Then I, I know it's only been a couple days in, but um, it's it's good. I like it. Um, it's just like the opposite of safety, buzzing all the same rules pretty much. And is there any specific, like you say, you played so much safety in your life, is there any new kind of specific thing you really have to learn to try to make that transition? Or? Um, yeah, there's always new stuff. It's, it's different calls when we go to base to nickel. So, yeah, just learning it, relearning everything. Okay, great, thank you. Greg Bell. Hi, Marquise. Thanks for joining us. Do you realize you're one of the most popular Seahawks, even after only just one year? Do you hear the fans that that like you and want to see more of you and if you kind of feel for that? Um, yes, I've heard a little bit, but I don't really be on social media, so I don't really pay attention to it. <laughs> what is it about your style of play that might be unique for Nickel? Um, I feel like I can I can cover. I feel like I can blitz. I can fit and run gaps. Yeah, just everything uh, that Nickel does. And who's giving you the advice besides coaches? Who's advised you on? Um, Ugo. Ugo talked to me. Um, Quandre, because he played there before. So yeah, just listen to people that's done it. And what are your impressions of Jamal Adams? Has he helped you as well? Yes, he's for sure. Um, I was a watcher when I was in JUCO, so he was at LSU when I was a watcher. So I always, you know, what I'm saying respected him. So yeah, it's cool. Had you met him before last week? No, I haven't. Jen? Hey, Marquise, what's the thing that you learned last year that makes it either a lot easier to practice this year or to get used to things? Because that's a big jump in transition. Right. Um. Yeah, everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything is was brand new to me. So, um, yeah, just really relearning everything. So I feel like it's easier. Can yeah. you play faster? Yes, for sure. Just just because like, I knew what I was doing, but you still don't want to mess up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, now nah, just, just, I'm just rolling. Thanks. Michael Sean. Hey, Marquise, what was it like um, working out with Cam this offseason, and what's something you learned from him? Um, Just to, just to stay in the playbook, um, he's tell me, uh, don't move around before the, the ball is snapped. Get lined up so you know what's going on. Just a little stuff like that. Thanks. Joe Fan. Uh, my question's been uh, been answered. Appreciate sure, it, Marquise. Marquise, how old's your girl now? Um, she's turn one last month. Is she out here with you? Yep. How, how great is that? It's good, especially during this quarantine. They got a little couple months off, so I've been I've been with them. Ben Arthur, I'm good. Mike Mike asked my question. It was about Cam. Thank you, Curtis. Hey Marquise, what's the what's the biggest thing you wanted to attack this off season to come into year two? The biggest jump you wanted to make personally? Um. Definitely get stronger, get faster, um, and just study more. Study stu study a lot more than I did last season. And when it comes to doing the nickel stuff, what's the biggest difference from safety? Like, is there one aspect of the game that's different at that spot then? Um, not really. It's just safety is more you thinking about run. You know what I'm saying? Nickel, you thinking like you, they, they're passing. They're, they're, we, in, we in for the pass. They're, they're more primacy on man-to-man -man coverage, obviously. How, how comfortable do you feel in that sort of uh, situation when you're asked to cover man against tight ends or whatever? Yeah, I can I can cover whoever. Um, I feel like you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm not, I'm confident in my man-to-man -man coverage. Thanks, Marquise. Anyone else have any question? All right, thanks, guys. 
Hey, so John now. Have fun. You want to go? One more, Marquise. Yeah, just Marquise. When you look back on last year, just you, you've been training camp. It seemed like you had a couple of really good games and all that. Then you sort of ended up being a reserve largely for the year. How, I guess how do you how do you reflect on that? Was there one thing you really you kind of learned last season? Learn, as in. Just just from a football standpoint, I mean, just in making the transition from college and, and all that. Um, just um, just study a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the little details in my game, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, that'll be okay. All right, thanks everyone. Marquise, thank you. Yep. Thanks, Marquise.